Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got another solo build that's going to make going in against the brand new 7-star Hisuian Decidueye Terror Raid easy in your games. So as of recording this video on the 6th of October, the Hisuian Decidueye Terror Raid event is now live in Scarlet and Violet. We've already covered two really strong builds that are going to be able to go in and solo this raid with. You want to check out that video with the Serral Edge and the Covenite. I'll link it up in the top right hand corner. But today we've got another build that's going to make it easy for you to go in and farm this raid for those high cost items as well as level up candies and everything else that you get from this event. So the Gengar build that we're featuring in today's video is going to be of course level 100. It's terror typing is going to be poison and it is going to have that shell bell as its held item. Really important for a line of recovery on there. Its move set is going to be nasty plot for boosting our special attack. Acid Spray for reducing the special defense on the Hisuian Decidueye. Taunt is going to prevent it from setting up any status condition moves like its bulk up, like its sword stance. And then Sludge Bomb is going to be our main attacking option. We've got the ability Curse Body on there. It can be advantageous at times, but not really something that's essential, not something that we rely on. It can be a bonus and it can be a curse at the same time, but we'll explain that as we get into the raid. We have got a Modest Nature on here. That is actually really important, the Modest Nature. Don't go for a defense boosting nature because of how the raid operates. We need to get knocked out pretty early on or how this strategy is executed with an EV spread of 252 in HP, 252 EVs in defense, and then the rest put in special attack. So that is basically the Gengar here. The build itself will be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at it. And we'll jump into the raid now at uh, real time so we can actually show you how the strategy works and some of the variations and basic premise of what you're going to want to do with the Gengar when you go into the raid itself. So when we come into the battle, we're going to go straight into it. There's going to be no turn zero like we've had in previous seven star terror raids. The first thing that we're going to want to do with the Gengar is go for a taunt because that is the big thing here. We want to prevent the Decidueye from setting up any stat boosts on its side of the field. And by doing the taunt here, we are going to be able to negate at least that first one, which is the bulk up. They're going to take a Shadow Claw from the Decidueye for our trouble, of course, but we take that pretty comfortably, doing about half health here. Now, the second turn, it does nullify stat changes on your side of the field, and it will see, it will try and go for that bulk up, which is denied. Now, we want to go for a Sludge Bomb here. We don't want to lock in with the Acid Spray just yet until the Shield has went up, till it has nullified all stat boosts on its side of the field, so we can then start really concentrating on lowering those stats. We are going to take another Shadow Claw here. It does decent damage, of course, and then we are going to be really concentrating on just getting our terrestrialization counter down, locking in with another Sludge Bomb turn three. In this next turn, it should knock us out. And at that stage, it should also set up its shield. It should nullify the stats on its side of the field. As we see the knockout coming out from the Decidueye, this is totally fine. This is part of the plan. We get knocked out here. And because it's knocking us out and initiating the stat drops on its side of the field, initiating that shield, should go for the sword stance as well, which the taunt should still be in effect. So it is going to block the sword stance from being actually active in this raid. And you can see here, perfect. So it's not going to be able to set up any of those attack boosts, which makes it totally possible for us to go uh, deeper into the raid and actually execute this strategy. Now that it's nullified the stat boost on its side of the field, it's not going to do that again throughout the raid. So we can concentrate now on going for the acid sprays because we've already used two sludge bombs already. After this acid spray, we are going to be in a position where we can terrestrialize. So that is quite important for us going forward. We're going to reduce the special defense on the Decidueye as well, as we see a Shadow Claw come out from its side of the field. The Cursed Body is going to activate. Now, not essential here. It can help you out. But I would say if it does activate, don't terrestrialize. You want to really concentrate down on getting three acid sprays off before you terrestrialize. Um, you want to be in a, as healthy a position as possible probably going to survive this next turn but the big thing is not terrestrializing too early with the Gengar so we're going to see a triple arrows come out like I say if it does reduce our defense here it's got a 50% chance to it doesn't really matter here we want to kind of commit to getting knocked out uh, as early as possible but we want to be getting the Decidueye special defense down to minus six so that's pretty much the main priority of this strategy going forward here so we are getting that down to minus six now we are getting a bit of health back, of course, but hopefully the Decidueye knocks us out. And it might seem in a dire situation, right, where we're getting knocked out twice. The raid timer seems to be ticking away, but this is like super fine. We're going to see a Leaf Blade come out here. And then we're going to see 
grassy terrain set up on the field and it will go for leaf storm more than likely after this but our raid timer is ticking down here this is totally fine because we're going to set ourselves up into a position where we are going to be able to really do some damage and close this raid out very quickly from this point on so the gengar coming back out onto the field and the first thing we're going to want to do because we can terrestrialize is terrestrialize and we're going to want to go for a nasty plot at this turn and that's going to boost our special attack by two stages now we really want to be able to go for two nasty plots to put our special attack up to plus four to the point where we're going to be able to do very big damage and essentially knock the decidui out with two sludge bombs from this point of its health that it's at at the moment so see we go for that nasty plot as to terrestrializing probably will lock in on a shadow claw here which is ideal for us if it does because it's not going to be very effective but opting for that brave bird but that's still fine right we're still going to be able to take another brave bird after this so that is not too bad so we lock in again but for another sludge bomb a uh, nasty plot because we are at that stage our health's not in any risk of us getting knocked out at this point uh, as we see another brave bird come out and take us down to about that yellow range so we're still not too bad we're going to be at the point now where we are plus four special attack here so you can see plus four special attack with those nasty pop boosts and the decidui minus six with those acid spray drops and now we can launch into those sludge bombs we're going to be able to heal all of our health back and do some big big damage to this decidui and you can see the amount of damage that we do is absolutely ridiculous we get a critical hit right but in general terms if without the crit you're breaking the shield there and you're putting it in range to knock it out with that next sludge bomb so the crit not really doing the video justice here but you would break the shield knowing the damage that we've done i've done this raid so many times with gengar before recording this you're going to knock it down to the point where the shield is broken there and it's going to be able to be picked up the next turn with the second sludge bomb and like i say the rear timer doesn't matter too much you're going to be able to use that second sludge bomb at this stage and clear up from there so i think the big things to, to note are getting the taunt turn one getting knocked out early so it does activate its shield the stat boosts on its side of the field are nullified and then the taunt is blocking that sword stance that's pretty important right that's the first step then once the shield's up you go for those three acid sprays which is going to get the special defense down to minus six on the decidui and after that if you aren't in a healthy point you get yourself knocked out again come back in terrestrialize nasty plot twice and then sludge bomb twice and then hit press so you've won the raid and that is basically the gengar raid if you want to farm the raids and things like that if you're not aware of how to do it you'll only get one seven star raid appearing on your map at a time and it'll take another day for it to kind of respawn if you leave it to do it normally through normal gameplay but you can spawn another one just open your map here so you've got a good view of everything on the map um, and what you want to do is hit your home menu come down into your system settings then down into system then date and time then make sure your synchronized clock via the internet option is set to off click into your date and time here toggle through don't change anything there's no need to and hit your home button after you've hit that okay come back into the game and all the dens should respawn and you'll be able to locate the seven star terror raid den once again and head out to it and kind of just keep on farming with the gengar or whatever you decide to but this was the gengar build for today like i said it'll be down in the description below if you want to take a closer look at it and another option for you to go into this raid just to mix things up of course but i do feel like the gengar is a very solid build going into this one and of course, for you Gengar fans out there, something that you might want to take in and use throughout the rest of the event while it runs this weekend. And of course, it will be continuing to run next weekend as well. So that's it for today, friends. I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, drop a like on the video. It does really help. And obviously, if you want to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content here on the channel, do hit that subscribe button as well. Let me know if you try the Gengar. I would love to hear your success stories with it or what other Pokemon you've been relying on to farm through the raids really effectively over this weekend have a great rest of your day friends take care of yourselves and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye